Welcome to Show Them the Door. In this episode, we're tackling religion. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We are surely not. <laughs> Assuredly. Assuredly not. Office of Diversity and Equity. And, uh, Do they walk to this? This is a bad look. No. Diversity, um, equity, and inclusion. And inclusion. I get out of college, and I'm already... Yeah, I forget his DEI. I already over here. forget my DEI. We will certainly not be speaking anything about that because not it's a actually. sensitive topic. It is a sensitive topic. And um, we respect people. We do respect people. Obviously. Very clearly. Um, Anyways, we got some topics to bring up, like we have, legitimate topics, you know? We also have three games to discuss. Those are the legitimate topics, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were referring to. So, I'll tell a story. We're walking here, Willem and I. We're having a, a swell little jaunt. It's a nice little time. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really get a lot of one-on-one time with Willem anymore, so it's like I really cherish every second we have. And he's like, dude, I gotta talk to you about something real. We're only gonna talk about it on the podcast, though. And so I don't know what Willem's about to say, nor do I know if my opinions are gonna be helpful and or not helpful. So with that being said, I'm gonna give the floor to Willem. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah. Uh, it's an honor. Um, so, the other day, this is yesterday. This is yesterday. I'm talking to one of the people that work at Kroger. Wednesday, th- January 30th. Wednesday, January 30th. Fuck, Tuesday, January 30th. I kept Wednesday. Whoa there, buddy. I kept Wednesday. Whoa there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Kroger working like a dog. Just kidding. I wasn't working at heart at all yesterday. I didn't do anything really all day. Okay. But, we're standing around talking, mm-hmm. um... For some reason, the people that I worked with in the summer that still work there now, since I was gone for a while and came back, to me it feels like they should be way older, but they're not. So, like, they still say things, like, and they're in high school, and I'm like, you're still in high school? And I'm like, it's only been, like, three months. I don't know why. I'm surprised. But I'm like, oh, what are you going to do after high school? Blah, blah, blah. We're talking about careers and stuff because Caden wants to drop out of college. Andrew doesn't know what he's doing. Other people there are sure. like, talking about their stuff. One of the people's like, yeah, I'm going for digital design or whatever at Columbia State Community College. And I'm like, sure. word, I actually wish I had done that. I think that would be really cool to do. Um, graphic design, digital design, that'd be dope, dude. I can't afford Photoshop, though, is my only thing. I can. I choose not to. I would add to my bills, you know, and you know those are stacking up yeah. already. My $30 a month for food. food bill. <laughs> <laughs> real real quick, w- Willem has a, he has created himself a budget. And he's like, food, $30, $30 a month. I live with my mom. <laughs> yeah. And my mom. Hi, hi Willem's mom. Uh, um, yeah, so it's $30 just for whenever I think like, huh, I would like to eat something different today, you know? I eat peanut butter sandwiches darn near every day. So sometimes I splurge for the $3 cold popcorn chicken and an 89-cent donut at work. And I go up in the break room, I eat my cold <laughs> you chicken. You get that five times a month? Munch on my donut. <laughs> I do that five times a month. And you know what? I've still got $5 bad to math, spare. Bad math. You get $10 to spare. <laughs> yeah. Good math. You can get it seven times a month. That's once a week. Whoa. 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 What am I, stupid? That's once every... I don't know what once every four days? There. Yeah. Every half week, go. roughly? There you go. Anyways, right? You got two bucks. So we're talking about stuff, and Caden's like, oh, I want to drop out. I don't know what I'm doing. He doesn't want to go to school. He's not a scholar. Um, and um, Not like you. Not like me. But um, he, they're like, what are you going to do? He's like, work at Kroger. He's not going to, but he's just saying that. And I'm like, you're going to be like a, and I named some like the old like people you? that have worked here forever. <laughs> and yeah, one of the girls says, like you? And I'm like, <laughs> Oh no! I forgot about that. Is this question? Am I a failure? Because <laughs> I'm gonna say no. It's not necessarily, but that's like a sub point, right? Sure. Sub point A. Should I be disappointed with my life? I have a college degree. You do. I haven't been promoted yet. Like I'm supposed to interview. I thought that was supposed to happen eventually. like last week. It was. It keeps getting delayed Bro, because the HR they're, lady... They're not giving it to you, buddy. They're just like, oh, is, oh, 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 oh yeah. I'm cooking it, you know? Yeah, they're like just they trying to get more work out of you. Yeah, the, exactly. State Farm commercial progress or whatever? Uh, State Farm. Guy. Go. We've named all of them. I'm, Liberty Mutual, just to hit all the bases. It's definitely Geico. Is it? Yeah, because well, that's, be. that's the one where they have the two guys on the, the guitars. We're like, how easy is it, buddy? And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you say so, man. Okay. Um... I have a college degree from a good university. Yeah, R1. 
I know. Like top 15, not anymore. Um, top 20. Top 20. And I work, I make 15 an hour. I'm going to make a cool, just, this is for the world to know, I guess now. I'm going to make a cool 18 and a half an hour up to 40 hours a week. And then over time, I'll make time and a half. So about 27. Yep. Um, I'll probably work around 50 hours a week. What does that put you in terms of a yearly? A year, a little under 50. Okay. So like. Not terrible, but I'll be working. But you'll be working like long, a dog long per se, fifty hours a week. Is that what I want to do in my life? And if not, what do I do? So, this is a big issue to tackle on the sports podcast. Oh, guys, because um, it's a game, bro. I mean, I'm not a boss that. <laughs> that's definitely not what I would want to do. On yeah. terms of a long term thing, and when you had initially told me you were going to work at Kroger. It was, well, I'm going to be in management for, like, a, a small amount of time, yeah, and then you're going to go to corporate. Only corporate. Is that a possibility? That would be the plan, is I well, work this sh- job until, really, it's all but hinging when, on where Brooke and I end up. Because she's going to sh- graduate and get a job, and then we'll figure it out from there. And yeah. then at that point, I would probably make the switch to, like, okay, I've got some experience doing this in the store. I'd probably go to corporate and then figure out. If there's a place that lines up a job for her and corporate, mm-hmm. uh, or just go to a different company. But, like, mm. do I want to work as some lackey in the Kroger for a while? I go home. Recently, I've started playing 2K. I've started playing 2K because I had the realization that in my life, I wake up in the morning, I don't do much. I lay down because I'm tired and I go to work and I come back from work and I lay down because I'm tired and that's it every single day and and then I come up here. That's it. Like the phrase work-life balance popped into my head last night and I thought, wow, I ain't got one of those. I've been looking at gyms because I'm like, I would really enjoy this to be something that I do and I think I'll be a little better at it if I can drive to there rather than have to walk, you know, across campus in the mornings when I have class. Um, I have faith in myself in that regard. But still, like, I just don't know if I'm happy with the way my life is right now. And that's a big statement to make on our sports podcast. It is. But I've been thinking about Quite this. a conversation. So then it brings up, while we're watching La La Land, pretty good movie. Have you seen it? It's pretty solid. I don't know what I expected. Not that. Okay. That was not the plot that I expected or really anything about it. Great movie, though. I actually really liked it. I love Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Love Ryan Reynolds. Have since I watched uh, that one show. Um, so while we're doing that, I get a notification, a little text from Ace Hardware. Bear with me. The here. place with the helpful hardware folks. I thought they'd go bust years ago, but apparently they're thriving. We have like six Aces in Knoxville. I know. Where I come from, it felt like a mom and pop shop. Okay. So I thought they'd be done for what with Lowe's and Walmart getting them. It's like Dog, a, I didn't think Ace was a different survive. thing. I know, but like Walmart has everything Ace has. Lowe's that's... is ace pretty much. I think that's true. Direct competition. It's all it's like it's uh, just uh, my that, own. that's just it's, not it's true. False. Yeah, it's yeah, false. like I'm just so gonna no, let no you need know. to argue. Um, hi Willem, my name is Grace. I'm the digital recruiting assistant for Ace Hardware. Thank you for applying to the supply chain replenishment planner position. Tough one to say out loud. We'd like to move forward with a thirty minute phone interview. Do any of these times work? They listen times. So I say to myself, self, what is this job? Because usually I get them, I look at them, and it's like lame jobs or like a scam most of the time. Most of the jobs I hear back from are just scams, you know? Trying to get my info. Or like the people at Walmart that say, you want to switch to AT&T? I have been given so many interviews to jobs like that. And I'm like, I might end it right now. But it is 60 to 70 a year. Um, I feel like, like it's not anything ridiculous. It'd be like 40 hours a week, so it'd be more... For less. Working less. Uh, you get a sign-on bonus, stuff like that. 21 vacation days, paid time off, all that stuff. Like a regular job, you know? It's in Oak Brook, Illinois, which is about 40 minutes from where Brooke lives right now. Sure. So that's my only thing is I have two things. One, should I move up there for the foreseeable future to do this if it's a better job? Two... Without me, Kroger would crumble, dude. As much as I complain about, about this, like, Barbara would 
like pass away. Barbara can pass away for all I care. She's older than I thought she was too. She's 63, she told me the other day. Wow. I was surprised. I'm like, oh, you're thinking about it now. Like, yeah, you're 60. My dad's like 50. Of course, you're 60. But it's like, but, it's weird to hear it, you know? Um, She's there about no, 90 I, hours a week. I think you you ditch Kroger if you have a better opportunity. But, it, like, is the this issue what is, I do? The, I mean, the, the Just only- thinking about it now on this podcast, this is my bridge moment. I don't know if we can do this, depending on when I take this well, job. Sh- yeah, I would have to figure out ways to do this either without you or... With someone else, or I'll Maybe ship up Anthony once a week. <laughs> but like, I think the bigger question is, if you moved to Chicago right now, yeah. Well, outside, of course. Um, where would you live? Where would you? When I had applied for a job at the school that Brooke's mom works at, they were like, "You can live with us." So I'm like, that's forty minutes away at this point. Yeah, I mean, and also living with your girlfriend's parents is. Is that a step up or down from living with your parents, do you think? I would say down. I would considerably say down. Considering, down. however, also mm. monetary things. Mm. It's cool. There's a lot of off the podcast things to discuss, too. Mm-hmm. So it's really tricky. Mm-hmm. Well, we should get into sports. <laughs> yeah, I, this but is that, a hard that's, conversation. That, this is my life that update prob- for you. I think that probably. I think, prob- I think, that, the low I think that the other job provides probably more mobility to anything else. I know. Like, I, 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 may, I don't. No, totally. Croker actually is a fairly okay mobility job. But I mean, for, uh, for like, I can move up to corporate and then move up and up from there. So it's like, really? there's, there's like some oddly okay considerable stuff because they keep all their jobs internal for a while because they're union, so they have to. That's why it took me so long to apply for this job because they hit it to keep it internal, hmm. which to me doesn't make sense. But so like, it's okay. But like, this is just straight up a better job. Yeah, that is a better Less job. Less hours. 20,000 more. Yep. About. Yep. And for... Dang, yeah. dude. Wow. You probably get... Yeah. Um, Oof. Any home. Heavy hitters today. Yeah, Willem's got some decisions to make moving forward. I know. I'm glad I don't have to make these decisions right now. Isn't that insane? Yeah, like everybody that I know is applying for jobs and doing things You're like cool. that. And I'm like, I'm going to law school. I've envied you for a long time in that regard. For okay. the same reason that my childhood growing up, I envied Tanner because like he always knew that he wanted to be a musician. Oh, okay. You always wanted to do law. Yeah. I've since, always, always wanted to know what I've always wanted to do. Like, I wish I had something like that. Yeah. You know? I, I genuinely think it's because you didn't do enough when you were in high school. I would agree. Like, Dude, I, we're killing it here. Um, Martez, I don't even need you. You don't even need him. I, I do miss him. Did, did, I, did I tell you, the, the, do you want to hear the story of how I actually got into law? Do you, do you know why? Like, I, you know it's from mock trial, sure, but do you know, like, the whole backstory? I want to say, I'm sure I've heard it. You probably have. You've heard almost it's everything. Four years, life. dude. I know pretty much every so, moment of your life. I walked into high school, and the first thing that I did before I got into high school was they had this like club fair, right? Yeah. And my mom's club like, sandwiches. mom's like, I'm taking this club fair, and we're gonna look at all these clubs. And I'm like, ah, fine. Classic high school thing. And so we're walking through these clubs, and my mom is like, also, you're doing this. And she goes up to the mock trial booth and hands me the little pamphlet. And I, because one of her friends was the person doing it. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, you're making me go into high school and become a lawyer and right now. Be the mock trial kid. <laughs> I'm already oh, in marching did. band. It's like, I, I'm like, I'm going O for two. I, I was like so certain not to. Like, I was like, mom, I'm not doing mock trial. Yeah, 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 staunch. I was like, mom, that, that's no. Because. It was also, like, when I first went to the first meetings, and I actually really, really liked it, but yeah, when I went to the first meetings, thing. like, mock trial was used by, the, the person who did it, one of my mom's friends, was a social worker at the school, and he kind of used it as, like, a club that people could go to and, like, have friends and have, like, a club. And, like, I'm not there to make friends. Yeah. I'm there to win competitions. So he's there, I was like, it's a friendly atmosphere. And, like, everyone there, there is, like... Like, I brought in, like, all of, like, my, like, friends that were, like, the smarter people in the school and, like, the ones that, like, really were like, competitive and, like, worked really hard. And I turned it from a club that, like... But you, you turned that into a powerhouse program. I did. I, I, they, they I, did I flipped, well beyond your years, I remember. We watched a bit. Yeah. I, I flipped that program from a poverty program that didn't have enough kids to compete my freshman year. We had to bring homeschooled kids in to compete. And we won uh, our district championship my senior year. Didn't get that district attorney, but by two dang, points, dang, they rigged it. 
yeah. Dang, it was tough. Farragut. Farragut. But we did oh. win. We did win. Yeah, um, that's really all it is. And then you're going to be a lawyer. How many of them are going to be lawyers? Probably a couple. Probably a couple. Anyway. It was, uh, was Ella good? Yeah. Really? Nice. Ella was good. Good for her. Ella was probably the second or third was best on the Savannah team. Good? No. I didn't mind. Savannah was okay. Yeah. That's just um, not her thing at all. It, it was involved. back in the day. Really? Oh, Savannah used to be like a very good argumentation person. Oh, I know she can argue. No, she can't anymore. <laughs> like I don't. She's I don't, lost it. She's lost it. Nowadays, she's so timid. She doesn't stand up for anything. Back in the day, she was the opposite. Yeah, like if you challenged her, like, she would just yell at you and like be like really aggressive. In a courtroom, I'd fold. I'd fold like an omelet, dude. But the thing is, is like I'd fold if someone. Lo- I if I enter a courtroom, it's over. Doesn't no. matter what, where, who, or where I am. If I am on either side, it's, I lose. Oh, dude, I miss those days. Nevertheless, we should get to the sports. I really did. Um, and then we, we can reminisce on this time at a different point. We've been crazy with reminiscing lately. I've, I enjoy some reminiscing. I know, isn't it nice? I'm at a reminiscing age. It has. <laughs> Legitimately, dude, now that I'm out of college, I'm like, is it appropriate reminiscing time? I'm like, hold on, back to my college home, days. I sit at home, like, and like I in the rock and chair. Little, uh, Google Photos app, <laughs> like an old man, and I say, <laughs> Yeah, started like, sending stuff. I'm old. Um, Anyways, so there we have got been, ball. There have been three basketball games since we last spoke. Um, two of them have been men's, Boys. and one of them has been girls. Girls. Um, and then I think the men play tonight, and the girls play tomorrow. Ooh, also Saturday, two thirty, men's basketball game. First eight hundred students get replica jerseys, and they're like good ones. Like Ooh. it's like the one, the the white ones with the black lettering. They're like like the newer age ones. They weren't like the old ones. What time are you gonna go? I don't. I'm gonna go early. Grab the jersey and get it out. Cause I'm free until hypothetically Brooke gets out of, out of her thing at one. But well, like, sorry, we, we can. We can <laughs> sorry. Um, never. We'll figure it out. But I want to go get the jersey. That was mine. I want to go get the jersey definitely. But so let's start with the boys. The uh, boys. I think we've played. I'm gonna. I know we've played Tennessee because I went to the game. Yep. Um, it was a good. It was actually a much better game than I thought. I mean, none of it ever feels really like. Maybe there's only two games because you know, we talked like, about Mississippi State last time. Really? Yeah, I think there's only been two games. Because because we we we've had the men's and women's at in in uh, in conference buys this past week. Wow! And so we, none of our men's or women's team played a midweek game. It was all on the, the the Saturday. So. Well, I'll be. So we have two games to talk about: Tennessee, uh, Vandy. We were leading through 26 minutes of gameplay. We were leading into the second half with 14 minutes to go. Issue number one, we don't have more than five people I trust on the court to play. Um, I, I trust Ezra. I trust Tyrin. I trust Vidal and Lubin. Uh, I trust Evan Taylor. I trust... Um, Thomas. Mm, that might be it. We kind of throw somebody else out there. Um, and, but like we played very well. Um, we had Tyron guarding uh, Dalton Connect most of the game. Crazy. We, he actually did pretty well. It, it got to a point where like he was the best player on the floor by far, and he was making crazy shots and doing crazy yeah. things as he does. That's him, man. That's he's, just what he does. He he, I don't know. He was like second team Big Sky Conference. Yeah, he was transferred to some weird school, which is just such a, like. Crazy, Great thing for crazy shot creator, shot maker build. Yeah, it just makes sense. He's gotten to better be on like defense. UTC or something weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what? No, it's crazy. Good for him. And That's what the program. The does. thing is, is like it, it did everything I wanted the game versus UT to go. I knew we were gonna lose by like thirteen, which we did. But like there was enough orange unrest for most of the game that made me happy. Um, there were some egregious calls that I thought were kind of funny. Like, there was a time uh, Tyron took about seven steps and then passed the ball out for a three. And everyone's like, it's a walk. And I'm like, I was looking around and I was like, it's a gather step. We cool. Uh, um, uh, it was out of his hands. It was funny because that happened. We got the three points. They came down. They called a walk on Tennessee's possession because the guy also did walk. But it, it did not make the 80% van, uh, UT fans very happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and there was also a play that uh, Ezra went and got a layup. And I, one of the Tennessee guys, I think it was Toby Awaka, blocked it. And um, they called it goaltending. But everyone was all up in arms about it being a goaltend. So they went and reviewed it. And when they reviewed it, 
they determined that not only was it goaltending, but there was a foul, and they called like a technical on Rick Barnes, <laughs> and so we got like we got the bucket, we got two shots, we got possession back. It was <laughs> it was so funny. I think we got five points off that possession. It was crazy. Uh, um, it was uh, it was it was pretty good, and like it, it was just enough that like. UT fans can't go out of that game feeling great. No. Because, like, they were losing the most of the time to a terrible Vanderbilt team. Yeah. They lost to South Carolina yesterday. Miles Studi, <laughs> Miles? Hit, Miles Studi hit the game, like, the game, like, clinching, like, free throws, and he shushed Thompson Bowling Arena. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, the Food City Center. Oh, my um, gosh. I watched our last podcast where you said that, and I still am, like, a little bit unhappy. I'm also unhappy about it. Um, nevertheless... It was not, I mean, it was, it was actually a better game than I've expected. I came in expecting to get blown out by, like, 30. We got blown out by, like, 12. Here's the thing, though, is that is cool. It doesn't feel good, though. As Vandy? Like. I have so much apathy towards the program right now. I know. It's, it's so, like, it used to be we did little things, and it gives me, like, promise and hope. No. Nah. No. There's no hope in it. The thing is, is like it, it, we are a good team if our starters could be fresh and healthy and play all, all 40 minutes. If you had two of each of them? Yeah. Cool. Nice it, team. Nice team. It, I don't think even a much better team. Yeah. Like, if, if our starting five, like, if we turned off fatigue. If you turned off fatigue. <laughs> and injuries. Just sized them up a couple. Yeah. We cool. Yeah. But we, the fact of the matter is, is that anytime any of our starters go to the bench and you bring on a guy like Jordan Williams, you bring on, like, Malik Presley, you bring in a guy like... I mean, to a degree, Tassos, if he's not making threes. Me. Like, it, it's just, it's not a good team. Yeah, no. I, uh, I, I, with my friend Miguel yesterday, not yesterday, but a Maybe. few days ago, we, we looked up a lot of the uh, Vanderbilt transfers and how many points they were. Like, you know Malik Diaz averaging like 18 a game? He's shooting, I think, 43% from three. Is he? Yeah. Well, I'll be- Trey Thomas is averaging 15 a game at Bowling Green. Bowling Green. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, like orange. Yeah, like I, I Studi's averaging Studi's twelve. Doing his little thing. Uh, I looked. I looked. Oh yeah, Jordan's averaging like sixteen at LSU. Dude, we're producing talent. Well, they're yeah. They're not here. No, they're not here. The worst but one is talent, dude. No, Noah Shelby has like four points a game at Rice. Oh well, he did. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's just sad because like, we had a lot of depth. No, we don't have a lot of depth anymore. And I, 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 I do wonder why. And I wonder why it all fell apart at the end of last year. It didn't. No, like, why were there so many transfers? Why did everyone leave? I don't know. Like, that to me is concerning. I understood Jordan Wright because he's a grad transfer. Yeah, I, like, it's your time. I, I understand Miles. Yeah, because he was. We just did not. We put stopped him where using he him. Because he stopped making shots. But the thing is, is if, if Miles transferred, that should have kept. Shelby, that should have kept... It opens up doors for Trey, Shelby, the other shooters that are going to get more minutes. But my only thought was, like, did did Jerry Stackhouse pull a, a Deion Sanders and be like, You're and right. I'm bringing my, my bags, and you know they Louie. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he brought all those five stars to Colorado from, like, Jackson State. Yeah. Like, did he do that, and then they all left, and then he didn't bring any big names? <laughs> Like, yeah, it's the old and we'll make room. Yeah, and, and then, then it's like oh, hold and then we on, make boys. room for like the tumbleweed, hold on, boys. like, <laughs> like. And in a recent mm. interview, Jerry Stackhouse was like, "Yeah, losing Liam and QMB really hurts." And you're like, "That's true." It, yeah, but dog, you can't we say that. We got a sprained ankle, but we got injuries on every other extremity as well, dude. What are you talking about? The thing is, is like going from. Going from what he did before the season started, where he's like, we're going to run it up on teams. We're going to make sure our net is great. To now being like, well, we don't have a center. Well, yeah. We knew that. Before the season started. <laughs> but it, it wasn't going to matter because of all these pieces. Uh, I thought it was all cool. Yeah, and so I don't and really sure, want... Sure, we do have things like we do Theoretically. Sure, Colin hurts himself. There are a few small isolated scenarios where it's like, okay, that's a rough break for us. But the rest of it is like, ah, even if we had those two. We're not winning. More, like, we ain't winning games, dog. Like, I think Lee Dort would be impactful because we literally, literally don't have a, scene, a center. Yep. 
don't know why I fumbled that so bad. He get his cool little seven and seven. Yeah, if he just put up like five and ten, like that's great It'd for me. He'd be a much better team, but still we ain't winning games. We, are you kidding? Yeah. I don't who, know. Who are we kidding? It's but just, the women, though. The women, we actually lost. But we lost to well, South yeah, Carolina. South Carolina. Of course we did. So, but I think it's uh, there. I think there are good things to take away from the South Carolina game. Because the, we lost by 17. It was 74 to 91. Okay. Oh. Um, 74 to 91. Yeah. Nice. First of all, I've seen South Carolina beat the hell out of teams by much worse than that. Much, yeah, like teams that are ranked very high. I've seen South Carolina versus played, like a um, number 25 team, and it was at one point like 24 to 4. I think <laughs> when we played them last, they scored about 90. We put up about 40. Yeah, like. So. so this. Following the, the arc, next year was our year. Next um, year, dude, if we hit him with the, another clean 30-point jump, yeah, we're exactly. winning the game. Let's do some simple math here. Yeah, if we plot it X, Y axis. If we plot that stuff, dude. But so here's what I, here's, I looked at the game, the quarter-by-quarter quarter breakdown. After the first quarter, we were down 18-17. Mm-hmm. Um, and so 18-17. we were only down we'll one be. after the first quarter. The second quarter is where the wheels fell off. Yeah. We, 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 there was a point differential of 11 in the second quarter. It was 24 to 13. Yeah. 13th. And then I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks, right? So now we're down 12. The third quarter hits, and there's a point differential of only six. Not that bad, in my opinion. Um, against the number one team in the nation, yeah. the undisputed number one team in the nation. Far and wide. And then in the fourth quarter, we win the quarter by one. Hey, look at that. Which is how we got to the minus 17 score. Math. But, I don't know, like, obviously this team is good. And this team is a tournament team. In my opinion, they should be ranked. Yeah. With that being said, we're not a top five team. No. Not yet. No. And you didn't expect it to be, you know? No. You win all these games, and it makes you think, wow. We could be. We went from, you know, winning a game in the NIT last year, hopefully. Like, that was the hope. To now it's like... It went from we're last year we're making we're miracle we're runs with seven healthy players to now we're like a Dare good I say team. A contender, no. A but good team. This is a... I mean, we're like a 6-7 seed in the tournament. Yeah, you, you win a couple I, games. We will be, a, favored a cool... in a, we'll be favored in a game. Yeah. We'll be, we might be favored in two. Yeah. That's still... Um, is that right? No, we're not a... Round 32-16 team. We're probably a 7-8 seed. Then you're favored in one. You go up against the one or the two. Yeah. Still, if we're fighting against the one, the undisputed one, the two seeds, you're getting down to like eight in the country. Right. So the number eight team in the country, I do believe we could put up a good fight against them. Absolutely. In March when it counts with the coaching we have and the talent we have. Absolutely. If they're clicking and there are no injuries. And um, like... Ayanna Moore, Jordan Cambridge, each shot Stars. 6 for 16 in the game versus oh, wow. South Carolina. Okay. Which isn't great. Yeah. It's not terrible, yeah. actually. But it's not great. Uh, the team high leader in points was uh, Sasha. She put up as many points as she's ever put up not, uh, this season against an SEC opponent, which is 18. Nice. And she did. They How all. Did she we, we, I, seven. Good for you. Um, you know, we're doing this all without a center. Yeah. Both of our teams don't have centers. Um, it's just wildly successful. Yeah, and we talked about the fact that the just women's game is a little bit more forgiving last week. But overall, like I, we lost, and we lost by a pretty hefty margin. With that being said, it feels good. I don't. Yeah, I'm not discouraged by that loss. I'm not pressed one bit. Um, in fact, I am pretty hopeful. It's a good. It's a good loss. I think also winning a, a quarter versus South Carolina. Big. That's pretty. Like how many teams have done that? Two of the four quarters. If if the if the first and fourth quarter happened as the first two, it would have been tied at halftime. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah, like we we lost by. I don't imagine that has happened many times this year to them. Y- yeah, like uh, there aren't a lot of quarters that are like very small differentials with South Carolina. Yeah. Now, it, I mean, if we clean up second and third, then it's a really close game. Yeah. Second, really, more than anything. If if the second quarter was a. You, you half that and make it another minus six differential. We lose by 12. Yeah, it's not bad. We lo- I like that. Like, yeah, we, we, there's a chance we very quickly get that to under 10. Yeah. And I think if you lose by a team to less than 10, you have the potential to beat them. Losing by single digits to the 
best team in the nation. Mm-hmm. Now, that was a lot of mental gymnastics to get there, admittedly. Sure. But it was a stretch. But, like, it's, I don't, it's, it's, it's logical next steps. It's, you know? it's not out of the realm of possibility. Not by any means. I think if we played them again, we would probably lose by less than 15. A little, little uh, round of 32 rematch. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to beat them this time. <sighs> Just, mm. yeah, that was really bad. Nope. Uh, so, Connor was like, all right, here's how you growl. You act like you're snoring and then kind of put it out. I was like, <sighs> no. <sighs> I don't know. I can't do it now. But I was trying. Uh, not because I actually want to know how to growl, but I was just trying to figure it out. Because, have you ever heard Connor growl? No. He does like a weird sound effect. Nah. And it's it's pretty bad. It's I don't like hear it. it's pretty gross. I'm gonna make you hear it. it. Yeah. Um, we gonna come home. Then, oh, Connor. Oh, yeah, please growl for my boy. Um, with that being said, that is all the games we've had. Um, our episode came out yesterday for last week. The speedrun episode. Yesterday, as in when we're filming, so. Yeah, as in, you know, this one I hope will come out tomorrow. Yeah. Should be a cool two-day difference for you folks. Last one was quick. This one was longer. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's some nice little info for you. Yeah, and I mean, we're still going to try to work on getting guests, but with Willem's schedule being all kind of wonky, it's been kind of hard. We'll see what we, uh, what strings we can pull. Yeah. I may just quit. Yeah, true. Be a bum. live off of Chris. You won't do that. Savannah um, has EBT. Come on, bro. She doesn't, I know. <gasps> what? She said they put like a hold on some of her stuff. It's a good Please. thing I don't live here anymore, bro. Yeah. I don't know how you'd make it. I don't know how I'd make it. Well, that being said, uh, this has been Show Them the Door. It has. Um, you know it has. And then we'll be back next week with more games to recap, and we're, edgy, uh, we're getting inching closer and closer to baseball season. Closer and Closer. closer. To baseball well, I'm season, saying, I'm so excited for baseball season. It'll be like, like it'll be like the joy that I that I haven't had in a long time. I know. Fo- sports for me this season have been bad, but there's there's hope. There is hope in most of them. There's hope, even with like Titans. Oh, the they Titans. got that dude from the Will Levis. Oh, we're talking about Brian Callahan. Yep, Brian Callahan. Um, Will Levis, of course. Yeah, no, there's I'm. Hope there's hope there. There's not a lot Open of hope for your men's eyes basketball. And see the hope around you. Yeah, hopium, hopium, hopium. So with that being said, all the way from the Curb Center Studios here in Nashville, Tennessee, this has been Show Them the Door. We'll see you guys.